Today we're going to look at three of our main expanding foam products. First we have the Gorilla Expanding Foam. This is a self-expanding, ready-to-use polyurethane foam. It's rigid, has low expansion, adheres and provides sound insulation. It can also be trimmed after 20 minutes and is available in gun, aerosol and smart formats. Gorilla Flexi Foam is a self-expanding, highly flexible polyurethane foam. It has good sound insulation and withstands heightened movement between building elements. Its high elastic recovery and good compressibility make it the perfect foam for around windows and doors because they are subject to sharp, slamming movements. And finally, our Gorilla MS Expanding Foam is the first isocyanate-free expanding foam in the world. Based on MS technology, it has no nasties and is highly flexible. Expanding foam is designed to fill both large and small gaps in spaces and has a range of practical benefits. Around windows, it's used to prevent air leakage and block air paths in a range of areas to assist in meeting the latest H1 energy efficiency requirements. It prevents moisture from the outside air passing through to the inside of the building by creating an air seal around the windows and doors. Only the inside face of the expanding foam is trimmed, meaning that the outer skin remains intact to stop the passage of moisture. Expanding foams help to improve insulation of small gaps and spaces, as well as providing acoustic insulation between areas, helping to create warmer, healthier constructions. Taking a look at a window before and after it has been sealed with expanding foam, you can see the difference it can make to heat retention. The New Zealand Building Code has regulations regarding the energy efficiency of new builds. This is found in the section referred to as H1 Energy Efficiency and is broken down into specific building elements including the roof, walls and floors. R value is a number representing insulation efficiency. The higher the number, the better the insulation efficiency. Insulation efficiency is determined by the depth of the foam, not the width. Any gaps around the edges or not being tight into the space will lower the overall R value of that space. There are six different R value zones throughout New Zealand. These are based on necessity and not geographic location. The thickness of the insulation determines the R value, which in turn helps provide a more energy efficient space. Here's an example of this for walls across New Zealand. The lighter area on the table represents a depth of foamed insulation that will meet or exceed the minimum R-value insulation efficiency as required by the code. For all foam applications and R-value requirements, please refer to the R-value information on our technical data sheets. 